It's been a busy week in medical news with important breakthroughs on diet and health that you need to hear about. Several new groundbreaking reports suggest that exercise can alter your genes, which can then be passed on to your children. Let's bring in Dr. David Samadhi, a member of the Fox News Medical A team and chair of urology at Lenox Hill Hospital and professor of urology at Hofstra North Shore LIJ School of Medicine. Doctor, great to see you. Nice to see you, Alison. Okay, this is a fascinating study because, of course, we know that exercise is good for your muscles and it's good for your cardiovascular health. But your genes? How does it affect your genes? So we're, we're getting closer and closer to all the secrets of health. And for years, of course, we've talked about how exercise is good for you. It's great for diabetes, to reduce it for obesity and heart disease. Now we're going from macro molecules to microscopic. We're getting to the genetic level of exactly what's going on. Great study coming from Sweden. They look at the fat cells and after exercise, what they saw is that they increase in methylation. What does methylation mean? Some of the receptors in our cells, in our genes, start to change after you exercise. Why is that important? This, the actual genes that are responsible for diabetes and obesity seem to be changing as a result of exercise. So now we're really starting to understand that it's not just a myth that exercise is good for you, it does change the genetic component of your body. And that can be passed on to your children? Well, of course, any time that you have children, some of your genes will pass on. That needs to be further studied. But this concept of methylation in the muscle and fat is a great concept, changes the receptors, and that changes the metabolism of the way the cells communicate with each other. That's a very s s interesting study. It sure is. Speaking of children, uh, there's a new report that finds that kids today, we've known that there's a bigger obesity problem with kids, but now it spells out how much heavier kids are, 13 pounds heavier today at the same age than they were in the late 1970s. And that means they believe the kids are eating about 200 more calories per day. Are we supposed to start restricting some calories from our kids now? Um, I, I, I got to tell you, I'm not sure exactly what the solution is, because every week we talk about this problem. The fact that we have a real epidemic among our children, 17 percent obesity among children, that number that you just mentioned is, is astronomical. It's significant. So we're going to have a lot of juvenile diabetes. We're going to have a lot of obesity coming up. And we just have to discipline our kids better, portion control, watch what they eat, the fried food, but I don't know if people are really listening. This is a wake-up call to really save the next generation. That's a great point. Uh, we all know that we should be restricting our sugar and watching how much sugar we have in our diet. Um, some diets have even suggested not eating fruit, but now a new report suggests that fruit can actually help you lose weight and you should not restrict fresh fruit. I thought you were going to sing the whole spoonful of sugar can get medicine. I go will down. do that in the chat. Yes. Okay, good. So this is a, probably the most important part of the whole segment. We're talking about the low glycemic index diet versus high glycemic. What's the difference between the sugar in, in, in soda versus the sugar in the fruits. When you have a piece of apple, the sugar goes in very slowly. It metabolizes very slowly so your body doesn't feel it's hungry. When you have soda, can of soda, you're going to get a big surge of sugar in your system. That makes the pancreas secrete insulin. You exhaust your pancreas and over time your body is going to get immune and doesn't understand that all this surge of sugar is not good for you. Increased risk of diabetes with that. So not every sugar is, is, is the same thing. The sugar from fruits is absolutely perfect for you. I have no problem with people eating as much fruits as they want. That's There's great. No and even coupling it uh, with fiber, the fiber that's in fruit allows you to apparently lose weight. That's so. an excellent point. Fiber, and it also has antioxidant. It's good for you, so you don't have to worry about the sugar in fruits. Thank goodness. I eat it all the time. <laughs> uh, Dr. Smadi, great to see you. Nice to see Thanks you, Alison. Have a great one.